little bit of revision mu y h right so remember mu one h is actually consists of what rho zero rho two so mu one h is actually mu one rho zero mu one rho two Right? So what is this? There's one way to look at it, draw a picture and draw the square and see the color where they go to eventually. So I'm not I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to do, do a quick one. So mu one. Just copy mu one first. Okay. Mu one rho zero, I think it should is the same. You should understand what is this one. This is mu one. Okay. Let's look at zero degree. Then apply a reduction mu one. What you end up with is same a reduction mu one. Okay, it's low degree. Then after you do reduction mu one, still same as reduction one. But this is harder one. Is rotate one hundred eighty degree. Then followed by mu one reduction. What is that? Okay, let's do the calculation. So I need to remember what is my mu one first. So I go see mu one is what. Mu one, based on the notes there, mu one is one two three four first line, and two one four three. Now I can write in a cycle notation. One go to two, three go to four. Okay, mu one is. Look at how I write that. One go to two, two go to one. So one cycle, three go to four, and four go to three. Now cycle right. So this is my new one. In two lines in the cycle notation, new one. Okay. Then I look at my row two. Row two is one, two, three, four in the first row, and three, four, one, two. Right? Three, four, one, two in the second row. So in the cycle notation, is one go to three, three go to one. 2 go to 4, 4 go to 2, right? So, what is mu 1 row 2? Let's calculate them. So, mu 1 row 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 multiply by 1, 3, 2, 4. Just recap again, last week you learned this. How to multiply cycles? What is this equal to? So first, you look for one first. Okay, I'm see one go to where. So let's look for one and see. Okay, I have a one from the back. Here is a one here. One go to where? One go to three, right? So one goes to three, but then you don't write three, huh? Continue and move forward. Look for three now. Three go to where? Three go to four. Then don't write yet until you move forward and see any four and five. No more four and five, right? Then you write down four. So I know 1 go to 4. Okay, remember this is how you multiply. Okay, 1 go to 4. Okay, first, look start from 1 at the back. 1 go to 3. Then look for 3 in front. We know that 3 go to 4. And there's no more 4 in front. Then write down 4, right? So this is how you write. You have no plan to write down, right? Next, you want to look at what is the next one. I have 4 now. 4 go to where? So from the back, I know 4 goes to 2. Then I move forward, look for 2. 2 go to where? 2 go to 1. And there's no more 1 in front, right? So 4 is not goes to 1 in the end, which I have 1 in front of me, so I don't need write 1 again. Just close. So 1 go to 4 eventually. And four go back to one.
Okay, so I know 1 go to 4. Now let's let's start again because I have not figured out where the 2 go to, so I'm going to write down 2 there. But it's very obvious where should 2 go to. Okay, let's try. So at the end, 2 go to 4. Look for 4 in front. 4 go to 3. There's no more 3 in front. So we'll write down 3. Okay, afterwards, I want to see where does 3 go to. So look at, at the back 3. 3 go to 1. Where does 1 go to? 1 goes to 2. So 3 eventually goes to 2. Right? So I have 2 in front, I believe, so I close. 3 eventually goes to 2. So I close 2. So 1, 4, 2, 3. What is that? So 1 go to 4, 2 go to 3. The only thing that you have is mu 2. So this is an echo set, mu 1 h. Now, I will just leave you for you to check. This go set is the same as mu 2 h also. So all together, how many co set are Six of them. Out of six, three are different ones. Huh? Still have one more co set. What do you think is the last one? Last two, let me name is, you look at the table, you know really, is the one here. This code set here. Okay, these are the code set. Row 1, H, which is row 2, H. Also, in total, all together, there are four distinct cosec. Okay? Now, if you group all the cosec together, you find that, again, they have a table like this. Color them. Okay? If you group all the cosec together, you find that you have a cosec table like this. This cosec, what kind of? Is there a pattern there? Let's try to see whether you can have a pattern like this. What kind of group do you think it will be? Okay, so we got an I can show you what kind of group it, it is actually. Now, if you look at this all together, by the code set table, okay, they are actually four code set, four different color, right? So then, if you look at all the code set, they form a group here. All the code set are so the first one is blue one, green one, gray one, yellow one. So all the four code set form a group there. So you try to figure out a table for this, right? So what kind of table is that? So you can think of what kind of group have four elements? What kind of group have four elements? So you try to remember small group which have four elements. Okay. We have come across this addition modular four. Addition modular four. You go table like this. Okay, you put the room like this. So low plus low is low, so plus one is one. So low plus two is two, right? This is addition modulo two. Addition modulo four, right? Check four. Under addition modulo four. Now, this group table is it the same as the table we have? Our table we have is actually this type of table, no? If you follow the color scheme, something like this. The table we have on the chart now, you follow the color scheme like this. Let's say E is the blue one, A is the green one, B, gray, C is the yellow one. Fill out table look like this. This table is different from the table on the left hand side. Right? 
Why is it table and lambda side different? Because you look at the identity, right? Identity zero is different operation here. For example, there's different type of table. Now the kind of table is not the same as that for, right? This table is not the same as for. And we have a name for this group. This group is called V, or in this case, kind for group. Okay, kind for group. Notation usually is called K4. K4. Okay, so This is not a cyclic group, whereas Z4 is a cyclic group. Huh? Z4 is a cyclic group. What is the generator of Z4? Generator Z4 is 1. Huh? 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. eventually you get everything. But this one you can't. You start with A. A times A is what? E. A times A times A times A, you get A again. And this is not the cyclic group. Huh? So the right hand side is not the same because the left hand side, you find that Z4 is generated by 1. Just take 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, eventually you get the whole thing. Right? Whereas this one on the right hand side is not the same. You start with A, you find that next one is E, A times A is E. Right? You see? A times A is E. Then A times A times A. E times A is what A again, so it's always A and E. You try B, you get B times B, also E. You try C, C times C is also E. So that this thing here, the the, the group on the right hand side, is not cyclic, you see? You can never take one element, keep on multiply, and get the whole group, but except for all you can. Right? But this one you cannot. We can only get two elements only. But this one can get all four elements. Okay. So this is the introduction about this uh, subgroup and coset. Right? Remember, this thing comes from the coset. The color coded one comes from the coset. Right? So, so this gives you an introduction of a coset of this symmetry of a square. We call it D4.